The U.N. nuclear watchdog confirming today that Iran has breached the limit on its stockpile of enriched uranium, a limit that was set under a 2015 nuclear deal with world powers. This, the first major step in violation of the deal since the U.S. pulled out of the agreement last year. And it comes amid weeks of escalating tensions between Tehran and Washington. Now, Iran made a big mistake. That saw Iran shoot down an American drone and Donald Trump call off a strike on Iran just minutes before launch. European leaders had promised a strong diplomatic response if Iran breached the deal, but it's not clear when such a response could come. Iran's foreign minister warning today that his country will further enrich its uranium if European nations fail to salvage the 2015 deal. Such a move would mark the first step in a process that could eventually produce the more highly refined material that can be used for a nuclear warhead. Iran has denied, though, that it has any plans to develop such a weapon. Over the weekend, outgoing British Prime Minister Theresa May calling for a diplomatic solution amid tensions with the Gulf. The UK will continue to work with our JCPOA partners to do all we can to keep the Iran nuclear deal in place. We believe the deal makes the world safer, and I want to see Iran uphold its obligations. North Korea's state-run media airing footage today of this weekend's meeting between the regime's leader, Kim Jong-un, and the U.S. president, including Trump's historic steps into North Korea as the first sitting U.S. president to do so. The meeting signaling possible progress after negotiations over the North's nuclear program stalled after a February summit between the two leaders fizzled without an agreement. The New York Times reporting today the Trump administration is considering agreeing to a freeze of North Korea's nuclear arsenal arsenal as opposed to a denuclearization pact. U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton slamming that report today on Twitter, saying that both he and his staff, they haven't discussed or even heard of any desire to settle for a nuclear freeze by North Korea. And that's not all. Bolton also adding this. This was a reprehensible attempt by someone to box in the president. There should be consequences.